cracking with your snack and snacker stars. It's me, me, the BRE. Oh, I don't have to be loud because Pringles is going to be loud for us. I'm oh. sorry. Me, me, the BRE, Brandon from the SAS Snack Food Appreciation Society, along with Hugh Mahoney. Snack time, Pally, and I don't mean to holla at you, player, because we're here. Pringles got new crisps in the house, and they're not just potato anymore, baby. That's right. Of course, we remember the old school uh, Pringles corn chips back in the day, and of course, now they have their tortillas. Apparently, they have uh, gotten that off the ground a little more with their new loud line. Yes. Several flavors available. We got the salsa fiesta flavor. Yes, indeed. And these are a corn chip. I've only seen this flavor so far. Found them at Walmart a week ago. Like as we heard said, there's five flavors of these. Quick little rundown here. There's a fiery chili lime, mighty margarita pizza, salsa fiesta, which we have here, spicy queso, and super cheesy Italian. Strangely enough, the Walmart I found them at only had tons of these. No other flavors, and I have not seen them available anywhere else yet. Our Walmarts suck. Yeah, and yeah. we live in a weird damn area that some of you folks don't get, but these are the only ones we could find, so it's what we got to check out here today on Snack Reefs. Everybody else's Walmarts have everything, and they have Walmarts everywhere. We have Walmarts here and there, yeah. and they don't have much. Now, first thing you notice, it's a shorty can. Yeah, it's shorter than a regular old uh, can, almost as short as Harley Race and Barry Windham over here. <laughs> Just to give you a little perspective. Yeah, I checked the ounceage on it, and this is one ounce less. That's this right. is 5.4. Normally a Pringles can is 6.4, but this is corn instead of potato, so I'm thinking maybe these are more dense. Let's find out. They're promising us bold flavor and epic crunch on this side rather than you just don't eat them. Epic. Yeah. Epic. Epic crunch. So faith no more. Let's see. That was tough. All right. Do they feel denser? Do they have more girth? No, but I can smell lots of veggies right off the bat. Like oh, yeah. It smells like somebody's making some vegetable soup up in here. It smells like salsa yeah. to me. It straight up yeah, has like exactly. tomato, tomato scent. There you go. They are very kind of orangish red. Otherwise, they don't look any... They look about the same size as a regular Pringle. Yeah, nothing different. Though. Yeah, there's not a noticeable like more heftiness to them or anything, but man, they are bursting with scent. They straight up smell like... Smell like salsa. They smell loud. If you can hear with your nose, they smell pretty loud. Yeah, and you ain't even got to get close to them. Like, yeah. Bruce Hart, wait. As it's, soon as they open, I just, yeah. it was like... It is effervescent. Yeah. All right. Like Shelly Crowley. All I'm right. ready for a salsa fiesta. Do it. Ooh. Is there a party in your mouth? There's tomato. And lots of it. There's at least a gathering. I'm waiting to see if there's some kick to it. It's very tomatoey, very salsa. Super tomatoey with like a cilantro. No, uh -huh, you know, <laughs> there be some issues there. Oh man, balcony, balcony time. <laughs> man, it's very it's heavy on the tomato. And earlier today, I had chips and salsa. Mm -hmm. So I've had that taste in my mouth all of a few hours ago. This is replicating it pretty much perfectly. Yeah, it does a pretty good job outside of having that Pringles texture mm -hmm. with that extruded corn matter that makes up the chip. You know, it's not quite as, uh, you know, authentic tasting as a tortilla chip, but it does give you that overall flavor of salsa and chips. I'm not noticing heat though. Nah. No heat, but it's the taste. Yeah, this would be a mild salsa in your grocery store if you were to buy the salsa uh, mm. for the Pringles, it would be mild. I'm kind of liking it. I do like it. Oh, yeah. they're, they're tasty. They have lots of flavor. They're yeah. very flavorful. Yeah. They're definitely loud. They're definitely bursting with flavor. Mm -hmm. um, I don't really have anything bad to say about them. I think they'd be a little interesting if they actually had some heat to them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, so with that said, I'm going to go three quarters. They're yeah. pretty solid. If they add some heat to them, they'd be seven eighths. Otherwise, I mean, I like them as a nice change of place for our Pringles. These are loud and in your face, and I like them. That's right, and they are kind of bold. Mm -hmm. Um, and the crunch is not all that epic, so I don't know about that. So, mm -hmm. you know, hype goes only as far as it can. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and agree and give these a three-quarter thumbs up, just based on the fact that they're very flavorful, mm -hmm. and I could really probably polish off that can pretty quickly. Oh, yeah, that little can will go down fast, because mm -hmm. there's really no heat involved. Yeah. There is that. There's a lot of crunch factor here, and with proper inspiration, that can's dead. That's right. Dead. Done. Finished. Mm. Been about maybe 15 <laughs> minutes or less. <laughs> All right, guys. Thanks for watching uh, Snack Reefs this week. We have an uh, announcement to make. The winners oh, yeah. of the New York Seltzer uh, giveaway. Uh, first of all, we have our main man, Necrotius. Yes, sir. You're getting a hat. 
Ship Sawana, baby. That's right. You're getting a hat. And then we have uh, Lee Garson. Lee, All right. Lee Garson is also getting a hat. There you go. And ladies and gentlemen, a longtime SAS member and cool all-around dude, Dan Scheffler. Oh. You're getting a shirt. There you go. And I don't know. I got one more shirt. Wait, who do we give that to? We got one more to give in the rotation. Who are we hooking up with the last shirt? Hmm. And ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go ahead and give Big Al, our MMA pal, the other shirt. So ladies and gentlemen, mm. two shirts to Big Al and Dan. There you go. Two hats to Necrotius and... Garson? Garson. Lee there Garson. Go, there, there we go. go. <laughs> See, the brain still works a little bit. It's firing on all cylinders, baby. And like I mentioned on the SAS Facebook group, I still got some uh, Cheerwine stickers. I'm going to give those to Chuck Norton. There you go. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching the SAS snack breeze you can check us out by uh clicking on the link down below to join the sas group on facebook also follow us on all the social media outlets including twitter and instagram at brandon reich sas at heel with mahoney and at a brick in the sas there you go and you know what you need to do when you do that you need to get loud just like this can of pringles news hashtag snack society all day every day for all your snacking needs shout it from the mountaintop and tell people what you're enjoying so we can all know the 411 on good stuff to have and while you're at it you know what happens next you join that four horsemen of youtube baby like favorite share subscribe and in the meantime in between time we'll see you next time bye bye <laughs>